I saw high jumping as a way out. It was my escape, but it was my escape from everything. She's great at what she does. She's strong. She goes for excellence. She pushes herself. She doesn't complain about anything. So to me, oh, this is a superwoman. I do think that sport is an incredible tool for creating passion and inspiration in something that can really teach us a whole lot about our lives. Typically, a lot of kids here in Jamaica, they start track and feel at like four or five years old when they were young. So I started at 11 and I was not good at all. And then my coach was like, you're tall, so let's try the high jump. And I remember working so hard in the high jump. I can't remember a time where she made an excuse or didn't give it you know, her absolute best in a competition. That's what I'll always appreciate about her. So I was nine years old. My older brother passed away. One day we were on our way to school um, when he got hit by a car. I was so shocked and traumatized that I didn't even stop. I kept walking to school. I was young, but my mind wasn't really processing what had happened. I've never gone through such extreme stuff. Yes, I grew up in a poor environment. My, my suffering cannot measure up to what Kim has gone through. About when I was 11, I was molested by a family member. Um, and that abuse went on for a couple of years into my early teenage years. The most traumatizing part was when my mom found out and I thought, okay, things are going to get better, but instead she blamed me for it. Going through abuse is one thing, but not being believed, especially by the people that you expect to believe you. I think it, it causes more damage. I was in so much pain um, from the death of my brother to the abuse. And it's like all these events was just happening in a sequence and we weren't getting any help. So everything was just being suppressed. That's kind of when things really started going downhill. I knew that if I can excel in athletics, I would be able to go to college and have it covered. So I stayed focused on that. In 2009, I qualified for the World Junior Championships and it was in Italy. I was one of the youngest athletes qualified in the high jump. And that was really one of the things that put me on the international platform for colleges in the States. And then when I went and I met the people that was working at K-State, they were so welcoming and it was like you immediately got into a family environment. I still had all the demons from my childhood. Like those were not things that was dealt with. At first things started to get really bad because at this point I was legal in the US to drink. Some days it got really bad. Like I struggled with severe depression. I'm like, I need help because I don't think this is how you're supposed to live. In training, I was amazing. Like no one could beat me in training. But as soon as I go to compete, it's like my mind is telling me I'm not good enough. So I would never compete at my best. One of the amazing things I will forever be indebted to K-State for is providing us with a sports psychologist. She came to me at the point where she was ready to try some things that were new. She's a very intelligent person, incredibly self-reflective. And so I have no doubt that in being able to just kind of pause, self-reflect on some of what she's been through, she was able to find it within herself, how she might better process some of the experiences she's had and how those can actually kind of be a leap forward as opposed to something holding her back. All those training would not have mattered if I did not get the help that I needed that um, Ian, our sports psychologist provided. I probably would not have been the athlete I am right now, if it wasn't for those moments and those meetings and those sessions that I had with him, I went on and I finished second um, at the NCAA my first year at K-State. And the second year I went on to winning. So now we're here today preparing for the Olympics. I can't even imagine how my life would have turned out if I did not do sports. It changed my story. It changed my life.